Okay, hey Sue, so just want to go over an overview of the machine. Uh, the air coming into the machine here goes through this solenoid and then it goes from here to the foam generator, which is, right, we've got it right over here on the ground. All right, out of the foam generator, we inject into the mixer right here. All right, for the water system, we have got a uh, flow meter right here. Water enters right here, and we go through a solenoid valve as well. Solenoid, the solenoid valves ensure that we start and stop the foam and water at the same time we start and stop the mixer, if that makes sense. As you can see, we beefed up the mixer. We put a right angle gearbox on here so we get more torque with the mixer. All right, so to control the mixer, I've got it set up at 350 RPMs. That's, that's going to be our starting point. We may have to go up or down as far as the speed goes. But uh, to simply start the mixer, we've got a keypad here with a start and a stop button. So to start the mixer, all we've got to do is push the green start button. To stop the mixer, we hit the red stop button. And it stops. If we have an emergency, hit the uh, e-stop right there. All right, hey Seuss, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the phone line and disconnect the water line from the mixer chamber. Make sure there's no material in the receiving hopper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start the mixer and make sure that we've got the appropriate amount of water and foam that will be delivered to the mixer. So I'm going to hit the start button and we should have foam and water start discharging. using a, uh, basically a concrete sand and Portland cement mixture uh, that we can buy locally here at our home improvement stores. It's manufactured by Quickrete. Like I said, it's just basically 75% concrete sand and 25% Portland cement is the basic mix design of it. All right, we're going to start the mixer. The foam and the water will automatically start when we hit the start button. basic mix chamber. We'll need to rotate this where we can, we're going to take this whole assembly out of the mixer. So these components will be washed off and we'll simply rake this material off. When we clean it up, make sure we got a good clean face right here to make sure our parts go back on correctly. 